Unlike most conventional IT trade shows, here at Computex, we can actually watch people do what we call overclocking. And this year, they're opening up this opportunity to more people like myself. Can you tell us what the setup is going on here? So what we have here is a Z270 platform with a 7700K KB Lake uh, CPU. And the idea here is that we will push this one to seven gigahertz. So the first step we have to take here is to get the temperature down to minus 190 degrees centigrade. So you take the, the flask there, which is filled with liquid nitrogen, and then slowly pour it inside here. It's dangerous, whoa. How much should I pour? Continue, it's fine. We need to drop down a little bit more. So now you can see already that the temperature is going down about oh, wow. two, two centigrades per second. So you can see it's boiling very hard. The nitrogen is reaching its boiling point now. So at a certain point, it will make a lot more noise and you'll see sort of a lot of smoke pop up. And it's at that point that we know that we've reached the lowest point that we can get. There we go. Good light. Uh -oh. It's going to boil. So we're reaching the, 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 point, the zero point of the pot, as you can see. Minus 190 now. Yeah. And you can you can hear now that the noise is sort of gone of the pot. So now it's stabilized at the lowest temperature that we can get it, okay. right? Until about 65 ratio, we can do it with 1.855 volts. Uh, if you want to hit 7 gigahertz, we're going to need about 1.925 volts. So I would say take the, the one core active ratio here, uh, drop it to 60, click apply, and let's see if we can get to 6 gigahertz. Drop. Lam, am I, am I doing this right? Yeah, sure. Okay, we're at 60. And, now. Mm -hmm. And you have to look at the core voltage. 1.855, right? 1.925. I'm being, I'm, I'm really scared for some reason. Okay. I don't want to burn this thing. 6.6. 6.6. Oh, One right. more. One more. And I see the temperature is still 192 yeah, degrees we're, Celsius. We're, uh, we're at the absolute lowest point. That okay, we cool. Should I should I push seven to seven gigahertz now? Are you ready for it? Are yeah, you sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Apply. Okay, okay. Seven. Bam, we have it right there. Okay, that was a very. <laughs> All right. So now the system froze up. Now we need to heat it up a little bit so we can. We're gonna heat it up. Yeah. So in order to make sure that it can boot what? fine, we're gonna heat it up a little bit to maybe- I can't believe you're doing this. To maybe minus 170, oh. and then we drop down again. Okay. We're back into Windows now? Yeah, everything is working fine. So you can see there's no issues with the, with the overclocking here. Oh, okay. Crashes at seven gigahertz, you reboot and you try again. Okay. So there are not even warning things to, uh, we have to hold the temperature in a stable temperature, because if the temperature fluctuates, then the cause may be unstable, then all of the things gone. So the key is to keep the temperature stable. Yeah. Okay, we're back up. All right, we're seven gigahertz, yes! So now we can try to move up a little bit more. Uh, let's say do the voltage to 1.95. We're gonna go beyond seven gigahertz? Absolutely, yeah. All right. So now we're gonna go to the BCLK frequency and go from 100 to 100.2. Okay, 7.02. Okay, we're gonna go up 100.4. Looks like it's slowing down. Ba baby steps now. We're baby uh, steps. yeah, we're pushing the limits of this chip. This is intense. I'm gonna try 100 points. 100 point six. Do you reckon that's okay? Apply. Your record is 750. Yeah. And I just broke your record. Yeah, you got up. You got For higher this? than what we've gotten on this chip. No way. <laughs> Oh my god, this is it. I I broke the record again. 7083. This should be a new record. For this chip. For, for sure. this chip. Oh my. And the system has frozen. You can see the cursor is not moving. But this is it. Peter, before we wrap up, any tips you can give to people out there who want to try this overclocking? Like, what should they be careful with? Uh, so first of all, I would recommend to start off on air cooling then switch to water cooling and then try to find someone in your neighborhood that's already doing the liquid nitrogen so he can give you a guide on how to prepare your motherboard and your CPU for, for this kind of stuff. And then in the end, if you want to do this, just, just go with it. Just do it. Good. And Lam, what do you think? Or how, any, any special tips? So, I, I know you have yeah, to... Yeah, so you know, tip. one of our enemies is all of the water. So the waterproof uh, job you have to done before anything you could do. Uh, 
so we so we see we have some uh, blue towers cover the whole port so we need to do anything better to uh, avoid any water on our ships so if any water uh, stay on our hardware then we will burn uh, so waterproofing is very important cool well i think this pretty much uh, sums it up for us today uh, thank you guys for giving me this opportunity and also to let me break a record, apparently. Yeah, so this is it. Overclocking at Computex 2017.